Research funding is very difficult and the, the climate is getting more and more difficult. Uh, a lot of our funding actually comes from the federal government, from the NIH, and NIH grants are really um, suffering from budget cuts and other financial you know, national issues. Um, the pay line now, the kind of average percentage um, of investigators who gets funded is about 9% or probably less than that now. Um, so it's very, very tough. Um, even if you have funding, you have to get your grants renewed every couple of years and it's very tough to get them renewed. Oftentimes, they're renewing them with a, a lower dollar figure than what you started off with. So it really is a struggle and I think it's a misconception on the part of the public that, that everything is getting funded by the government because in reality, actually, we need money from individual donors and we also need money from companies. So uh, for instance, Yale has an alliance with Gilead, a big pharmaceutical company that's trying to develop new drugs. And so we're doing a lot of screening, as I mentioned, of our tumors, looking at pathways and um, uh, genes that might be mutated uh, that they could then work with to develop therapies. So we really do rely on um, collaborative funding from industry as well as donor funding. Uh, donor funding, of course, um, you know, we've been uh, trying to uh, develop uh, that uh, area, but uh, that's something that's uh, idiosyncratic, of course, to the patient. So we will have a patient come in with a disease um, and, um, you know, want to um, provide funding for us to do research in that specific disease. Uh, we also have donors that give, kind of generally give to the cancer center, um, and that funding usually is allocated, you know, based on competitive grant mechanism. Um, so the cancer center has mechanisms to fund um, pilot projects out of that funding, that um, donor funding. Um, it's actually competitive, so you have to submit a grant and it gets reviewed by a committee, um, and the funding goes to the project that we think would have the highest chance of success. So, you know, funding is, co is a continual problem for us. None of us actually have the funding that we need, uh, and we're all struggling to try to, you know, make these advances on limited funding, and um, hopefully that will improve in the future. I think there's definitely um, a component of that because there's only so many federal dollars out there and they get allocated to specific needs. I know at one point the NIH was putting more money toward breast cancer and then the guy said, oh, wait a minute, what about prostate? And then a couple years later the NIH was putting more toward prostate cancer. Um, and, you know, the agenda kind of shifts uh, based on, um, you know, a lot of different factors. Um, you know, I think cancer funding has been fairly consistent. There hasn't been um, a major kind of up and down as far as the funding. Uh, we're always going to Congress and saying that we don't have enough funding for cancer. Uh, but, you know, there has been a steady stream of funding. Um, I would say it's hard to know with the Ebola thing where that's going to go um, funding-wise and, you know, what, you know, what the impact of that's going to be.